Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. This is Atman Shah. I teach economics at St. Xavier's College, Ahmedabad, India. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to perform one sample t-test in R studio and interpretation of the result. On our YouTube channel, you can find the videos on economics, statistics, and SPSS. So kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Let's begin with the idea of one sample t-test. Here I have written one sample t-test is used to compare the observed mean with the given population mean. So in one sample t-test, we are going to compare the uh, sample mean with given population or a hypothetical mean. So suppose uh, I have this data with me. Let me share my uh, CSV file. So we have consumption expenditure and gender. We have two variables. In this case, suppose we want to find whether the consumption, average consumption expenditure of a particular locality is $1.39 per day. So suppose we have collected the data from that locality. So uh, we have 21 observations here. And now we want to compare whether this sample is taken from the population which has uh, average consumption expenditure of $1.39 per day. So if you see the command read.csv, which is used to import the CSV file to R. So you can simply use this command read.csv and uh, copy paste the location of your file. So suppose I have given the name X to this entire file. So you can simply click run or you can use control plus enter. So if I click on run, you can see the uh, data is uh, imported in R. Now if I write X, you can see the data here in the console. CE, that is consumption expenditure and gender. You can also use str command to know the structure of the data. So I'm writing structure X and click on run. So you can see uh, we have two variables, consumption expenditure, CE and gender. Consumption expenditure is integer variable, which means that it is a quantitative variable. And in gender, we have characters. So CHR is written. You can also use names command to know the name of the variables. So the outcome is CE, that is our first variable, consumption expenditure and gender, which is our second variable. Now to perform one sample t-test, we use t.test uh, command. So first we write the name of the variable. So here we want to find the, uh, uh, we want to compare the uh, sample consumption expenditure with given population consumption expenditure. So our variable is consumption expenditure, which is the part of the entire file called X. So I'm writing X dollar CE, comma. Now we are going to write the uh, given hypothetical mean or given population mean. So it is mu, mu is equal to 39, comma confidence interval, so confidence dot label is equal to 0 0.95. So our alpha is 0 0.05. And simply click on run. You can see the output in console. So here it is written one sample t-test. Your data is X dollar CE, which means that we are using this consumption expenditure variable. T statistic is minus 3.5. Double nine zero six. Degree of freedom is 20, which is n minus 1. So we have 21 observations. So degree of freedom is 21 minus 1, that is 20. P value is 0 0.0007191. Now this P value is less than 0 0.05, and therefore we reject the null hypothesis. 
Now, what is the null hypothesis in this case? The null hypothesis is the average consumption expenditure is $1.39 per day against the alternative hypothesis of uh, average consumption expenditure is not equal to $1.39 per day. So you can see the alternative hypothesis is written here. True mean is not equal to 39. So since this p-value is less than 0 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis and we can say that the average consumption expenditure is not equal to $39 per day. You can see the sample mean is 30.80952. So this is the way we can uh, use one sample t-test. But suppose we want to use uh, uh, we want to uh, use the one-sided one sample t test. So for that we have the option of alternative uh, hypothesis. So we can write t dot test x dollar c e m u is equal to thirty nine alternative hypothesis is equal to greater and confidence level is equal to 0 0.95. Now you run this uh, command. So this is our result. One sample t test data is x dollar c e t value is minus 3.9906 degree of freedom is 20. Here you see p value is 0 0.9996. And alternative hypothesis is true mean is greater than 39. So what is null hypothesis in this case? The average consumption expenditure is less than $1.39. And alternative hypothesis is uh, average consumption expenditure is greater than 39. Since this p value is higher than 0 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And we conclude that the average consumption expenditure is less than $1.39 per day. And you can easily see this mean, sample mean or average consumption expenditure of this sample is 30.80. Similarly, you can write uh, less here and see the result. So in this case, the alternate, the null hypothesis is the average consumption expenditure is greater than $1.39 per day. And alternative hypothesis is the average consumption expenditure is less than $1.39 per day. So you can see p-value is 0 0.0003596. So we reject the null hypothesis and we conclude that the true mean or the average consumption expenditure is less than $1.39 per day. So if you do not write anything here, if you do not write this alternative term in the command, automatically R Studio generates the result for two-sided hypothesis. So if you do not write anything, you can see this result, the first result in which it is written the alternative hypothesis is not equal to the population mean. So this is the way we can uh, calculate one sample t-test in R and R studio. You can also find our videos on the theory of uh, one sample t-test, the, the, the application of one sample t-test in SPSS also. If you uh, find this video useful, kindly like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. Thank you.